Hi guys, thank you so much for coming back to my vlog. Today is day four of my trip and for me this day is a little nerve-wracking because the, the day is the antigen test day so we have to test negative in the antigen test or else we are gonna be stuck in Germany for 10 days or maybe five days if they are following CDC guidelines but it's probably still 10 days I'm not sure but double check I'm going to add the CDC website in my description box below please feel free to check the requirements My fourth day started pretty early. I left the hotel around maybe 7 in the morning, just walking around the area. The tear garden is just across the street. And uh, my plan is to explore within one mile of the hotel and the testing area. I'm gonna get my antigen test in uh, Marlin Dietrich Platz. It's uh, right in front of Grand Hyatt and across from it is a uh, Spielbank Theater and right beside it is another theater where they have shows like Blue Man Group and oh no not the Blue Man Group uh, it's a uh, the show right beside Spielbank Theater around that time is probably the strip show. I'm going to include the details of the COVID test. I'm going to write down the website in my description box down below. Please feel free to check it. Also, in the upper right corner of the description box is the subscribe button. Please feel free to hit the subscribe button, like, comment and subscribe if you haven't done so thank you very much or if you're watching using your laptop or desktop computer please feel free to hover your cursor on top of my teal shield icon on the lower right corner of my screen and then click subscribe thank you so much for your support for the fourth day of my trip, aside from the antigen test, I also plan to visit Gemalda Gallery. As I have said before, uh, the museums have timed entries because they are controlling the amount of people in every museum so uh, they can practice social distancing left the hotel pretty early around 8 or 8 30 if I'm not mistaken so I could uh, explore and look out for small restaurants where I can grab breakfast but uh, unfortunately I haven't seen any there's not a lot of cafes or restaurants that are open around this time I have seen the breakfast area in Grand Hyatt um, when I passed when I walked past the hotel but there's a lot of people I loved the breakfast options in my hotel in Ritz Carlton Berlin but I've had it for two straight days now and I'm thinking maybe I could find something different if I go out early but not a lot of cafes or restaurants in the area so I was just um, walking around aimlessly and I end up in this beautiful park Deer Garden used to be the hunting grounds of the royalty if I'm not mistaken and uh, it's very much like Central Park but 
it, it's very much like Central Park in New York, but there's less buildings and it feels so much bigger because uh, I tried to explore it. I actually explored it more a little later after some of the activities, but um, you'll see. Tiger Garden is basically a forest in the middle of a concrete jungle. I can't imagine what it looks like during summer. They have a nice area where you can find really old rhododendron plants and another garden where they plant different kinds of roses also in the middle of the forest in the middle of tear garden is the another uh, tourist spot it's called uh, victory column you can go upstairs the column and it's like a small tower and you can see the view on the top but i didn't go there because i don't have time It's basically like a forest preserve. I enjoyed my time here. Time flew fast and after maybe an hour of walking around, it's about time for me to visit Gimalda Gallery. It opens around 10 in the morning and I booked the 10 o'clock time slot for day four. I'm going to write down their website in my description box below, so feel free to check it out. You can book you have to you have to book your tickets in advance because uh, of the time slots and this is culture forum they have different museums in the area i just chose gemalda gallery because i'm a big fan of caravaggio and in this gallery they have a bunch of paintings by the old masters paintings by michelangelo's master painting there's a painting by Raphael there's a there's a bunch of paintings of Rembrandt which is a uh, he's uh, he's younger than Caravaggio he was a uh, very much uh, influenced I think by Caravaggio because Caravaggio um, is a master of chiaroscuro which is a, a painting using light and shadow very dramatic very baroque and uh, you can see that uh, Rembrandt is influenced by this style I have some timestamps down below in my description box below if you want to explore the content of this vlog please feel free to move around my timestamps. This is a painting by Domenico and David Ghirlandaio. Domenico Ghirlandaio is Michelangelo's master. This is a Rembrandt. This is probably one of the earliest paintings by Raphael. And now we're gonna go look at Caravaggio's painting. 
Caravaggio died pretty early, probably in his late 40s, or I don't know, maybe late 30s. This is his painting, Love Conquers All. This is by Diego Velasquez. This is a uh, Johann Vermeer's The Glass of Wine. This is another Rembrandt, actually a room full of Rembrandt. This is uh, Paolo Cagliari, also known as Paolo Veronese. If you have seen my Paris vlog in the Louvre Museum, you would see his painting, The Marriage Feast at Cana. It's the biggest painting in Louvre. It's right in front of the Mona Lisa. This is a Titian. and more Titian paintings, also known as Tiziano Vecelli or Vecelio or Vecelio. I don't speak Italian, so excuse my pronunciation. I only know how to say spaghetti carbonara arrivederci Roma. 
Of course, with my hands flailing in the air. This is the second Raphael painting that I have seen in the art museum. Raphael, also known as Raffaello Santi, Raffaello Sanzio. This is a portrait of a Medici by Sandro Botticelli. This is an, another painting by Michelangelo's master, Domenico Ghirlandaio, Judith and her maidservant. This is by David Girlandaio. He's a D Domenico's brother. All right, we managed to finish walking around the museum pretty fast. If you want to stare at the paintings more, you just have to pause the screen. And this is the exit of the museum. They have a uh, before you enter, they want you to use the lockers under right beneath the entrance. Make sure you have coins because you need coins to open or you need you need coins to deposit in the locker. Either a uh, one or two euro coin will do. All right, guys, watch carefully because this locker is what we call in the Philippines as Nanganga in Nang Tanga. So across the street from Culture Forum is Spielbank and right beside Spielbank is a theater where they stage Magic Mike Live. And right beside the theater is this amazing Vietnamese restaurant that I went for brunch. Also in front of Spielbank Theater is the standalone COVID testing area that I booked. I'm gonna write that in the comments, uh, not in the comments, in the description box down below. I'm gonna write down the website. So if you're ever in Berlin, you can visit the website and schedule your own. I think I scheduled my COVID test, my antigen test at around one o'clock and I was able to get to the restaurant around 11.30, around that time. So in November last year, the guidance was different. You have to get your uh, COVID test, PCR or antigen test if you are vaccinated three days before your flight back to the United States. But now the, the 
the guidance is different. It looks like you're going to need to get your test one day before your flight. So I'm going to write I'm going to write the website in my description down in my description box down below. Make sure you read all the details. Thank you. I ordered a German beer because we're in Germany and I ordered two bowls because one is for breakfast and one is for lunch. Yay. This is a uh, in Marlene Dietrich Platz right beside Spielbank Berlin. You can see right there is your Corona test center. My appointment is around 1 o'clock, but I got there around 12.30. They are not very busy, so maybe that's why they let me have my test 30 minutes early. I was able to get my results after 10 minutes, and it was negative. Yay! The only thing to, to take note of is uh, if you are using this for travel, make sure you add your passport information just to be super sure. And the only thing is you're going to have to add around 10 euros to your 20 euros. Which, which means you're gonna pay around 30 euros for your antigen test. After that, I walk back to the tier garden because I wanna see more of the park.
So after a couple of hours of walking around, I surrendered and once I reached the middle of Tear Garden, I took the bus to the, to nowhere. I don't know where I'm going, but um, uh, stay tuned. Uh, see you in my next vlog and see where I'm going to next. Thank you so much for watching.